Welcome. This is David Richardson with another job search moment. As promised, we're going to tackle a question that gives most job seekers unpleasant chills. But I do promise to warm you up. The question is not as hard as it looks. The very first question an employer is apt to ask during a job interview is, just to get started, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sounds innocently open-ended and friendly, doesn't it? The employer is just trying to get to know you, right? Don't kid yourself. The employer is still focused on the three questions we discussed in the last two episodes. Can you do the job? Do you want to do the job? And will you fit in with the company? That the question is open-ended is on purpose. The employer is watching to see how you will respond. He is not really interested in your childhood, your more adult biography, current interpersonal issues or troubles, medical problems, or personal likes and dislikes. Talking about this stuff only tells the employer that you have no clue as to why you are in his office. And if you don't know when you are applying for the job, when are you going to get a clue? But the question offers the opportunity to fall into the trap, and you don't want to do that. Instead, you want to use the question to show your skills, your desire to use them, and your workforce maturity. In other words, to answer the three questions that the employer is actually interested in hearing about. Do this and you will get any employer's attention. That's a promise. Now let's see how we can do it. A good answer to this question, tell me about yourself, depends upon your skill in devising a three-part answer. We'll deal with the first part in this program, how we introduce our answer. This is important because a good introduction will help to avoid revealing unnecessary personal information and keep us focused on the question's real purpose, our skills. We will focus on how to state our equipment skills in the next two programs. Then in the fourth and last program on this topic, we will learn how to create job function skills, which are the specific job activities we know how to perform on the job, frequently with the equipment we know how to use. In other words, learning how to answer the question, tell me about yourself, requires us to keep our biographical information short and then to focus on identifying the job-related equipment we can operate and the job functions we can perform. And that's what we're going to learn to do. So what's the first part? Well, that's answering the employer's question directly and in the shortest way possible. I call this first part nodding to the question because the employer did ask for you to tell a little about yourself. So do precisely that. Tell very little about yourself. Here is what we can cover. 1. Where you were born. 2. Your most recent education or training, including diplomas or certificates earned. 3. Your military service. 4. Your current living location. 5. Your favorable feeling for the city in which you currently live as a good place to live and work. And finally, the bridge to skills, something like, but the best way for me to tell you about myself is to tell you about my job skills. This six-part technique serves as a funnel to lead from your brief biographical summary to statements describing your employment skills. So let's see what the first part of your answer would sound like using this strategy when you're asked in the interview to tell about yourself. I was born in New Albany, Indiana, but my parents moved to Indianapolis when I was young, so I grew up here. I graduated from Arsenal Technical High School, and I'm currently attending Ivy Tech to earn my associate's degree. I am scheduled to graduate next year in June. I have served in the United States Army and am proud of my service to my country. I currently live in Indianapolis and I like this city. It's a good place to live and work. But the best way to tell you about myself is to tell you about my job skills. Notice how this sets you up to start telling prospective employers the skills you can offer to solve their problems. So the next step in answering this question, tell me a little bit about yourself, is describing our skills as clearly as possible. There's a name for such descriptions. They are called skill statements. 
and there is an art to making them. So in the next program, we're going to begin mastering that art by learning to craft equipment skill statements. Until next time, this is David Richardson for Job Search Moment saying, you can get that job, so let's get it done.